So this graphic novel is um, it's about your life, right? And so are you sticking to a particular theme or rather a genre or is it just going to be all over the place or what is it like? Okay, so this is the this is the script. 2018 and 2019 were really monumental times for me because I very specifically chose to do difficult things and coming into a place of insecurity and fear and um, instability and just just the process of addressing things that are difficult is just difficult so you have to be in that place and you can't just give up because then you lose out on what you're trying to do and so re realigning to emotion and uh, getting stronger physically and being mentally capable of quitting addictions and just addressing all of those things was hard but it made a world of a difference in my life and I think that I want to share that and I want to share how that journey has been for me not to say that all of you should go out and do it but it was so powerful in my life that I think that it can impact yours and that's what I'm writing and drawing about okay um well we've all seen your work on Instagram and uh, you also put up content on YouTube and apart from this um, you also have Patreon and so how do you how do you manage all this you know every day it doesn't get overwhelming or is it too little work or tell us tell us noobs what we don't know I think I'm also a noob uh, it's it's nice to have um, a lot of work it's nice to be challenged by uh, creating new things every day I have put a lot of expectations on myself and I enjoy it because I have a new thing to address every single day and the week is designed around creating and publishing content not because I'm like very pleased with the work that I do in fact it may just be the opposite sometimes but I want to get used to letting go of what I make because you honestly cannot finish art it isn't I don't think it's possible you choose to end that process and you just let it go and you publish it there's a big difference between finishing work and publishing work and I think I want to get used to just putting work out there and um, not trying to perfect it because I can get really finicky about that. So that's where I'm at and that's how I approach social media. So Patreon, YouTube, Instagram, they're the main uh, outlets. So I focus on publishing work and not making it absolutely perfect because then I just get stuck in a rut and that's just the kind of person I am. You may be different so it works very differently but I've gotten I've gotten to understand myself much better and this is why I focus on it like this. So it helps me a lot. It's not too much work but it's not too little either. It's exactly right and some days I just I just need to remember why I started and what I'm doing it for and why I put out work regularly and not try to finish it and make it like perfect and that helps all right great so um last question do you have a note or a message for aspiring artists <laughs> i mean there might be someone watching who's decided to start their own graphic novel or you know just pick up their pens and start drawing because they haven't done in a long time. So tell us, give us
us an inspiring message. No pressure. Everybody, this is my great inspiring message. Don't take yourself too seriously. Not that you're not valuable or amazing enough, but just that you don't have to put out some monumental thing on your first try. Don't put that much pressure on yourself. Just make what you make and share what you make because to someone else, it could be the best thing ever. And I'm realizing that about my art as well because I may not think it's anything good, but I hear things from people where they're like, they're just encouraging me and sharing that they really enjoy what I make. And that enables me to see that it's not, it's not as bad as I think it is. So don't take yourself so seriously that you don't value yourself. Just that sounds contradictory, but, but maybe it makes sense to you. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself and uh, not put your work out because you think you're not as good as whoever. Just share your work and give somebody that opportunity to appreciate it. All right, that's all we have today. Thank you, Natalia Rebecca Isaac, for your time. Um, and that was truly inspiring. For all you know, I might just, I might just start my own YouTube channel someday. And um, yeah, so now is the end of the video. Say bye to your bye. viewers. And now I shall return to you as your husband. <laughs> my photo's falling asleep. Okay. Um,